This week in Texas barbecue, we are cooking a whole hog. Um, it's about a 60 to 70 pound hog. We uh, brined it overnight in a solution of water, salt, sugar, and some spices. And this morning at about 5.30 a.m., we rubbed the inside of the hog with brown sugar and uh, got the hog on the pit around 6 a.m. this morning. And uh, today we're gonna keep our pit around uh, 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, periodically we'll be checking the internal temperature of the uh, thick cuts on our hog, so the ham and the shoulders, just to get temperatures on them. And uh, ideally we're shooting for around 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. And the pit's set up to be an indirect heat cookery method. We're using indirect heat because we want to cook it a lot longer and a lot slower. Um, so it'll be more tender when it gets done. It'll be more like a pulled pork. Um, it's just cinder blocks we bought from our uh, local hardware store. Um, it's a really cheap setup. It's really easy to set up. Um, set your bricks around. We have expanded metal that the pig is actually sitting on. Um, our fire on one end away from the, the actual pig itself. Um, and then the tin on top to close it in. And today we're using uh, oak wood. We have some wood stacked down here um, that we're just adding a couple of logs about every hour um, to keep our fire maintained. But we're using oak. Gives off a good smoke and, and a good um, presentation because that hog picks up a lot of that color. We picked about a 60 to 75 pound hog. Um, we're feeding a, a large group of people, um, about 30 or so, and so that's the, the size that we felt like we needed to feed all those people and have enough food. Um, and we have a decent sized pit here. Um, you could cut the size down and get a smaller hog. If you had less people, um, you'd need a smaller pit and, and it would take less time to cook. And likewise, you could get a larger pig if you needed to feed more people, um, but you'd have to have a bigger setup. But um, this is more of an intermediate size um, with an intermediate pit um, that we have to, to feed the people that we need to. Today's hog turned out pretty good. Uh, reached a final endpoint temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for the most part is real juicy and uh, tender except for the hams got a little bit hotter than we wanted them but for the most part everything was very good very tasty and uh, the pineapple that we cooked today complemented the pork uh, very well um, as a whole the class felt like it was a very interesting way um, to cook an entire pork carcass um, they felt like it was unique they hadn't seen um, something quite like that before and they may not have had the space like we had back here to do that I and mean, I thought the presentation was very unique um, and they um, really enjoyed it.